Hey there, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you. It has been a couple weeks. Um, I was solo parenting for a couple weeks and um, I got really, really sick and my girls both got sick and um, I just did not have the ability to film or really read that much for the last two weeks, but hopefully we are back on track. So I wanted to do a kind of a Friday reads, although it's Sunday. But just to talk about what I read in the last couple weeks, which wasn't a lot, um, and it certainly wasn't a lot of deep, thoughtful reading, but it was still enjoyable. I think you can see that um, I wasn't feeling well and I needed some kind of just pure enjoyment reads, and that's what I did. So I have the books. Um, let's see, I have a couple of them. One of them I returned to the library already. Um, and a couple of them were on my Kindle, so this may not be visually very exciting today, um, but sorry. And then I also have one book that I kind of, that I decided not to finish that I would like to pick up again. So I'll start out with that one. So I had started um, The Seventh Function of Language by Laurent Binet, and I started this, oh, well, just before my husband left, so um, just over about two and a half weeks ago. And I really liked it. And there is a passage in here. If you um, are a if you were a humanities graduate student or just regular humanities student, and you had to study Foucault, and if you were ever on the struggle bus studying Foucault, there's a passage in here. And I remember it was on page 16 and 17, and it had me laughing out loud. It was so funny. So this book is about um, a uh, a murder investigation in France. Um, and it swirls around the world with all of these intellectual um, thinkers. So we've got Foucault, we've got Derrida, we've got Sartre, we've got you know all of these people, and their personalities come through in the book so well. And there's an interchange in the very beginning between Foucault and the police inspector that is hilarious. And honest to goodness, pick up this book, read to those pages alone, and then put it down, and you'll be like, that's all I needed. I could see myself picking up this book again in the future. It wasn't that it was a bad book. It was just that I, um, I did not have the, like the mental energy to finish it. So, um, so I'm not going to continue on this book, but like I said, pages 16 and 17, Foucault, hilarious. Definitely recommend it just for that alone. So onto the books that I have read and I have, so I have a baby monitor and my Goodreads open down here. So I know like what's going on. And then books over here, so if I'm looking around, that's what's going on. Um, I finished, or I read The Royal We because of The Royal Wedding. It seemed natural. I enjoyed it. And I think that's kind of what set me on this path of, um, I remembered how much I enjoyed romance novels. I, um, I started as a romance reader when I was a kid. Uh, I don't think YA was a thing when I was a young adult. Or at least if it was, it was a pretty new thing and neither me or, or my mom knew about it. And um, so when I was kind of done reading kid books, but not quite ready for like just letting me loose in the adult section, my mom would say, okay, you can read like a Victoria Holt. Like, you can read these books. And that I think really just kindled the love for romance and happy endings and predictability. And, and I like those things. I don't like them all the time, but I do enjoy reading those things. So I read The Royal We, um, and then I read also um, Rayanne Thane's Snow Angel Cove, which um, is more of a Christmas time read. I think I want to pick it up again and reread it over Christmas. It's about, um, sorry, The Royal We was about a royal wedding, if that wasn't, hasn't been made abundantly clear. Um, Snow Angel Cove is about a small town and um, a tech magnate and a single mom, a single widowed mom, and you know they, they come together through a series of un seriously unfortunate events, and um, come to enjoy each other. And spoiler, they get together in the end because that's what happens in romance novels. And it was just, it was good. It was really good. Um, I enjoyed that one a lot. And I will, I believe I've already requested the second one from the library as well. So I'll continue in that series for sure. And then I read a couple of cozy mysteries as well. I read Town in a Blueberry Jam by B.B. Haywood, and I didn't like it. Um, 
this is what I was reading like through the throes of being sick and by the time I was well enough to realize that I was really really not enjoying the book at all I was already most of the way through so I just went ahead and finished it but I did not like the characters I did not like the plot I didn't like the ending <laughs> I didn't like any of it um, I picked it up because I there's recipes in it and books with recipes are kind of like my new thing I really think they're really really exciting but I did not like that one and I will not be continuing with that series I did however so the last time I recorded I talked about this one books can be deceiving by Joan McKinley um, and I can report that I did make the hot chocolate recipe that's in the back and it is delicious it was unique because it was um, is made with bittersweet chocolate so it's actually not um, overly sweet but it was very very good so I recommend both the book and the recipe in the back of this one. And then I picked up the second book called Do or Die by Jen McKinley. So this follows the same um, small town librarian. There is a murder mystery. It revolves around the library itself. And in this one, she gets a dog, um, uh, Dewey the cat style through the the um, the book slot so that was pretty exciting and sweet and uh, I have not there's um, a cookie recipe in the back that I would love to try but I have not tried that yet primarily because it's just me and my daughter that eat cookies in this house and that means it's just me that eat cookies and I don't need to eat a whole batch of cookies so I haven't done that yet but um, I bet they're delicious and then finally I read and finished and this is like a huge departure from the rest of these books this is In the Distance by Hernan Diaz and this is about, how do I describe this? This is about a young Swedish boy um, in the early to mid 1800s, we don't exactly know when, who um, is sent by his parents with his brother to um, go to America, to, um, to New York, but he gets separated from his brother and ends up in not New York. And it's kind of his quest to get to New York um, to find his brother and it reminded me a lot of the Odyssey in that he he has this epic journey. He meets these characters that are like larger than life and um, really just interesting. Um, but he also asks some really interesting questions along the way. Like, what is the nature of humanity? What is the nature of being human? What is the nature of God? Um, all of these things. Um, one passage that I loved in towards the beginning talked about um, he's learning about from a naturalist kind of this naturalist theory of evolution and um, the, the way that it's described the main character Hakan um, thinks to himself oh, there's the baby thinks to himself if we've oozed from this if we came from this primordial snot and we are made in the image of God then what does God look like who is God and um, obviously it's written more eloquently than that, except for the primordial snot part. That was an actual quote, which I loved. But it's just, it's a, um, very interesting. And uh, there's not a super big plot, so there's um, not much more I can say, but it's definitely an, a, a thinking book that makes you think about lots of things. And I recommend it if you're into that kind of thing. Um, and then I'm currently reading Welcome to Lagos by Chibundu Unuzu, Unuzo, and this is a Nigerian author, and the book is about a Nigerian um, army officer who deserts, and um, the, the people who desert with him, and they are going to Lagos, which is a major city in Nigeria, and so it's about um, the, the military, and I believe the oil industry in Nigeria. I just started it last night and I'm not very far in, so I'm enjoying it and I'm really excited to uh, continue. So those are the books that I've been reading the last couple weeks and I would love to hear if you've read any of these or if you're interested in any of these, particularly um, if you're interested or have read in, in these ones, I'd love to chat about them. Otherwise, I hope you have a great week and I will talk to you later.